So have you seen this video of this creepy little robot thing that basically, it looks like a little Lego man. I actually think it's the size of a Lego man. And it's walking like a mini robot. And then it gets to these bars that it can't physically get through with its size and shape. And it melts down. I think it's recorded over time lapse because it looks kind of odd. It's got that weird sort of like jerky movement and it suddenly, it's melted all of a sudden then it's suddenly back up again. But it basically is the T-1000 out of Terminal. Terminator 2. It completely freaked me out, first of all, because you're starting to get more and more of these things where classic sci-fi ideas or concepts that sometimes you're like, that will be here soon. You know, flying cars, everyone's always like, where's our flying cars that should have come by now? Other things seem nearly silly that it was ever science fiction, like space timing. Mm -hmm. You know, that was a big deal in Star Trek in 2001, A Space Odyssey back in the day. And now it just seems, not only has it come and gone and not seemed like a big deal, but it's actually annoying. No one likes getting FaceTime. Yeah, yeah. But it got me thinking as well, like what other famous sort of technologies and stuff in sci-fi are actually going to become a reality. Do you know what I'd love? Instead of an Uber XL, you order an Uber DeLorean. When do you want to go back? What event in time? And then you just fucking go back to it. That's fucking brilliant. Pay for it and then get picked up again and sent back. How far can you can you go back to any time? DeLorean, man. So you can do whatever you want. Yeah, but this is a company, so it's going to be regulated by the government. So are they going to By TFL, by TFL. This is by TFL. <laughs> yeah. It's their jurisdiction. Sadiq Khan, you can use your Stuff. in the bounds of greater london but at any point in yeah. history i'll give you one that actually is happening okay there is currently a company classing itself as a de-extinction company which is basically working on bringing back the woolly mammoths things like this always come up in the news you know when you see it not the proper news but your little internet social media news where it will say something like a company's working on rocket powered shoes and it's going to be available in three years and then it comes and goes and like nothing yeah. ever comes of it i assumed this was going to be like that but basically they've done whatever they do brought back the genetics you know actually kind of similar to Jurassic Park where they mix in the missing DNA strands they don't have with a frog similar in this is the DNA patches that are missing they've made up with elephant DNA because obviously it's very close to a woolly mammoth and they've impregnated an elephant with the woolly mammoth embryo and a woolly mammoth is born you think it will actually happen or, or it will come out like really deformed and fucked up or something like when Brundlefly accidentally yeah. teleports with the window open and yeah, it becomes yeah. half a teleport machine half a man half a fly I hope not I assume it's obviously a possibility and it might take a couple of pregnancies to go and i imagine if that is the case they must have more than one pregnancy going at the same time and the plan is they've got a part they bought area in siberia and they're going to reintroduce the woolly mammoth how fucking nuts is that so that it will if it works it will just be like running about on its own until it gets more basically oh yeah it'll probably be pretty lonely at first yeah, didn't think yeah. of that and who's gonna raise it do you know a good point maybe they're gonna keep it in a zoo type facility until it's old enough i don't know about this because obviously jurassic park when will they learn but secondly like if this does work you will you can do a woody mammoth do a whatever something else and like, do anything yeah do anything firstly i'm always like don't worry about Jurassic park build the dinosaur yeah, island yeah. it'll be fine how often do animals escape from normal zoos that's true like they don't it'll be fine it'll be fucking awesome but secondly theoretically say i don't know the rare black jungle rhino went extinct in the congo about a decade ago maybe a bit longer what if they have some dna of that i mean if there's some lion around they apparently they're bringing back a woolly mammoth so they must be able to bring back an animal that died 10 years ago what if they can just be like oh all right, let's rewind the clock and clone a hundred of them. We'll put on adverts and put little videos of cute little baby rhinos and make everyone feel sad and donate, build up a fund, and we'll introduce 500 of them to the jungle and just get that going again. Theoretically, if this works and they have the resources behind it and it's economical enough, no animal ever has to go extinct ever again. Going back to the Jurassic Park thing, how much would you put, like, if it did exist, like, what would your limit for paying for a ticket be? If you could tell me I could have a month there, I have, you know, if, if you have like, when a kid has 15 weeks to live, so they bring them and just say, you go on every ride you want, you skip every queue. I have that for a month. I would genuinely sell my flat. Really? Yeah. Wow. Dinosaurs. Fucking dinosaurs and then what in real you life. Do? Save up again. I'd try and get a job there. <laughs> just live there forever. I saw some things where they had built in cameras into Ray-Bans. You can look at your social media through the Ray-Bans and like scam people. I mean, that is actually about 10 years old. I used to work at Selfridges back in the day and they would always have little expo stuff going on. Google Glasses expoed their stuff there way back in the day. That was probably going 12 or 13 years ago. And I remember trying it on. I probably don't realise how antiquated it 
looks now but at the time they had it set up so basically when you looked around at various products the prices would pop up in front of you the big problem with that is it's annoying no one wants to wear glasses if you don't have to actually wear glasses and you're just getting rubbed off your head and they're just kind of lame people don't want that i think what would work better would just apps where you hold up look through your camera on your phone see augmented reality but that technology has been around for ages i can imagine it one day in the home watching a film but it's not necessarily on a screen you're watching it play out as like holograms well there's another one yeah. somehow, somehow i didn't think of this but hologram technology i went to see that abba thing with sophie it's fucking amazing i i'm not even gonna be pretend i don't like abba i fucking love abba but forget abba for a second i was just jaw on the floor looking at this technology the main thing people are looking at it being like oh wow you can bring actors or musicians back and it's like when they were young forget that you know suddenly a play you can have actual special effects yeah live transmitted into a play and it's hard to convey because obviously you haven't seen it and if you're listening at home if you haven't seen it but it is fucking incredible and it is going to completely change the entertainment industry it's nearly the fact that they made it realistic and it was people on stage kind of completely undersold how incredible this could be because there's one moment where they're 100 feet in the air like they're huge they're giants and they're all dancing around and then they just suddenly shoot down to their normal human size and that must have cost a ton but you gotta understand it's not video it's as if they're there in front of you it's as if they're physical beings doing that it is unbelievable like I'm, honestly it, it is astounding and i can't wait it will mainly i feel like be sold to commercially as concerts to begin with but they there's no tell it like, like one thing it got me thinking was war reenactments things like that it'll be fucking unbelievable but imagine seeing like forget i'm actually gonna ask my dad if he wants to go to this because he likes abba i don't necessarily hate abba nor like them but i wish to see this it's amazing <laughs> it's amazing me. and they're gonna do it with other stuff yeah, I was just going to say, imagine if they'd done it for something like Led Zeppelin or like Jimi oh. Hendrix. Until the technology gets cheaper, you won't get those more. I mean, it seems weird saying Pink Floyd and Led Zeppelin are niche, but compared with ABBA, they just are on the grand scale. But as it gets less expensive and more economical, you'll see all of those. But it's just for days afterwards, my head couldn't stop thinking of all the possibilities for the technology. It's, it's, it's going to completely change the entertainment industry. What about your own family members? Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't and, know if I do. And what that. about the point where it doesn't have to be pre recorded, but they record enough facial expressions and motions where they can just interact in real time? No, I wouldn't. Say, like, Siri. Yeah, I don't think I would do it, man. No, fuck no. Yeah, yeah. I don't until know. it becomes be a norm. Fucking weird, man. You know, until it becomes a norm and then everyone's doing it. Like I, did, I wouldn't because I reckon if it, you said family members would have died or friends would have died whatever I reckon if I'd done that hologram thing it would kind of convolute the actual real memories I had of them you know what it's like with your brain <laughs> I always say a new memory comes in you forget something and I'll be like oh shit like I don't want to do it sounds horrendous but you know people have sex dolls and stuff like True. people do it people do weird shit the last one I want to talk about basically space travel for the average person accessible space travel kind of like the way we have accessible air travel nowadays nice. probably not too far off you know with Elon Musk's whole incredible rocket company was it SpaceX, SpaceX. and the, the amazing leaps and bounds that's coming on and how much cheaper the technology is and how much cheaper every flight's becoming as well as you know that kind of Jeff Bezos getting in on the action with his company how far off is it gonna be from from the average Joe like you or me. Even if it's just, you know, fly around the moon just as a, I don't know, like a cruise or something. I don't think the actual fly into space bit will be that long, but when it first starts out, the prices will only be for the elitists you know like Richard Branson's trying to do it before it comes down to an affordable price I, I don't know it wasn't affordable price the price of traveling to New York that'll be years but I think the actual program will start flying people who can afford it relatively soon in the next few years yeah but you said years and then next few like what as opposed to decades like what for an affordable New York type of ticket I'm gonna say 10 years 10 years yeah holy shit that's way sooner than I was thinking. Elon Musk is a clever guy, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, fucking 
We got an Uber from in Porto. The geezer picked us up in a Tesla. I was fucking amazed at that. Those cars are <laughs> cool. I just couldn't open the door. <laughs> and it's, yeah, the fucking yeah, door yeah. is... Travelling to other planets is going to be fucking eons away. Because, first of all, no matter how good they get, it's still, for the next, I don't know, 50 years, going to be so dangerous. Like, space travel in general is so dangerous. Living on another planet, actually terraforming other planets, which supposedly is that Elon Musk's big overall goal. There's a reason they used to send prisoners to Australia, because it was a f way of colonizing it, and it wasn't like a thing anyone wanted to do. It was brutal and far away, and you were literally starting from scratch. Imagine doing that all without air. Half of them fucking died on the ships there. Yeah, exactly. It took like fucking four, four five months to get... Like, imagine if I say, hey, go with a group of people to the desert and try and build a civilization from scratch. Now it's go there without water or air. Nah, fuck that. Do that. <laughs> and also, if something goes wrong, we're millions of miles away. It takes decades or how, I don't know, two years of traveling. But it'd be impossible to build a civilization in a desert because you can't grow any food. You can't get any water sources. You won't get enough water to sustain. I don't know, like... Whenever they talk about terraforming, I always just picture a giant greenhouse and then you slowly expand the greenhouse till it covers the whole planet uh, and somehow that just changes well, the atmosphere. Well, I was referenced the Martian. Because that yeah. was basically gardener's world on Mars. Yeah. <laughs> He's just gardening and... Brown for Yeah, brown. Like making vegetables and shit. But God forbid that the first couple of SpaceX ones, I, I'd, be, I'd just be fucking frightened that they just explode. Mate, I didn't even get the first like four iPhones yeah. until I was sure they were really good. Yeah. Like, I'm not getting on that first space mission.